Section 40.129. What are the MRO's functions in reviewing laboratory-confirmed non-negative drug test results? 40.129a. As the MRO, you must do the following with respect to confirmed positive, adulterated, substituted, or invalid drug tests you receive from a laboratory before you verify the result and release it to the DER. 40.129a1. Review copy 2 of the CCF to determine if there are any fatal or correctable errors that may require you to cancel the test. See sections 40.199 and 40.203. Staff under your direct personal supervision may conduct this administrative review for you, but only you may verify or cancel a test. 40.129A2. Review copy 1 of the CCF and ensure that it is consistent with the information contained on copy 2, that the test result is legible, and that the certifying scientist signed the form. You are not required to review any other documentation generated by the laboratory during their analysis or handling of the specimen, e.g. the laboratory internal chain of custody. 40.129A3 If the copy of the documentation provided to you by the collector or laboratory appears unclear, you must request that the collector or laboratory send you a legible copy. 40.129A4 Except in the circumstances spelled out in section 40.133, conduct a verification interview. This interview must include direct contact in person or by telephone between you and the employee. You may initiate the verification process based on the laboratory results report. 40.129A5 Verify the test result consistent with the requirements of sections 40.135, through 40.145, 40.159, and 40.160 as 40.129A5 sub 1, negative or 40.129A5 sub 2, cancelled or 40.129A5 sub 3, positive and or refusal to test because of adulteration or substitution. 40.129B, before you report a verified negative, positive, test canceled, refusal to test because of adulteration or substitution, you must have in your possession the following documents. 40.129B1. Copy 2 of the CCF, a legible copy of it, or any other CCF copy containing the employee's signature and 40.129B2. A legible copy, fax, photocopy, image of copy 1 of the CCF containing the certifying scientist's signature. 40.129C. With respect to verified positive test results, place a check mark in the positive box in Step 6 on Copy 2 of the CCF. Indicate the drug slash metabolite verified positive and sign and date the verification statement. 40.129D. If you cancel a laboratory confirmed positive, adulterated, substituted, or invalid drug test report, check the test canceled box Step 6 on Copy 2 of the CCF. Make appropriate annotation in the remarks line, sign, provide your name, and date the verification statement. 40.129E. Report the result in a confidential manner. See sections 40.163 through 40.167. 40.129F. With respect to adulterated or substituted test results, Check the Refusal to Test Because box, Step 6, on Copy 2 of the CCF. Check the Adulterated or Substituted box as appropriate. Make appropriate annotation in the Remarks line, sign and date the verification statement. 40.129G As the MRO, 
Your actions concerning reporting confirmed positive, adulterated, or substituted test results to the employer before you have completed the verification process are also governed by the stand-down provisions of Section 40.21. 40.129 G1. If an employer has a stand down policy that meets the requirements of Section 40.21, you may report to the DER that you have received an employee's laboratory confirmed positive, adulterated, or substituted test result consistent with the terms of the waiver the employer received. You must not provide any further details about the test result, e.g., the name of the drug involved. 40.129 G2. If the employer does not have a stand down policy that meets the requirements of Section 40.21, you must not inform the employer that you have received an employee's laboratory confirmed positive, adulterated, or substituted test result until you verify the test result. For example, as an MRO employed directly by a company, you must not tell anyone on the company's staff or management that you have received an employee's laboratory-confirmed test result.